Um, <laughs> I, good morning. Um, a special morning to Prof. Peterson, the members of the platform party, guests, parents, graduates, and UFS staff. It's truly an honor for me, and I would like to thank the University of the Free State for inviting me to do the speech for you today. It, it truly is it's something that I've always dreamed about doing. And last night when I was rehearsing, I, re I realized with a shock, I can't remember what was said in any of my graduation speeches. Um, so I hope, I hope that you can take something of the message I would like to bring today. So let's take a walk down memory lane, ladies and gentlemen. Parents, do you remember the day when this little baby was placed in your arms for the first time? How cute they were with their feet and their tiny scrunched up faces. And do you remember the dreams you cherished for this child? Then let's celebrate because today is a day of victory. A day on which one of those dreams have come true. Now graduates, let's go back to your first day at school. Maybe you remember the excitement of a new adventure and a new friends. Maybe you only remember tears, the pinch of your new school shoes, and sitting still for far too long. Yet, you persevered. Days, yes, even nights of study have culminated in the qualification that you received today. Congratulations and well done. It is your day to shine bright like a diamond. However, I am quite sure that you can all attest that the journey to this day of celebration has not been without its ups and downs. Today, you stand on a steep hill. You look back on a dream come true. You're a shining beacon of hope for your family. Yet, there might be a little niggling feeling of unease at the back of your mind. As former President Nelson Mandela wrote in A Long Walk to Freedom, after climbing a great hill, one often finds that there are many more hills to climb. In the modern world, these hills take on unfamiliar shapes, and they seem to shimmer in uncertainty, like a mirage. You may be familiar with the managerial term, or maybe not, VUCA. Not to be confused with the Zulu word VUCA, to which I will return later. VUCA, V-U-C-A, is the response of the US Army War College to the collapse of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s. Suddenly, there was no longer the only enemy resulting in a demand for new ways of seeing and reacting. VUCA is short for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. This idea was developed by Professor Nate Bennett and James Lemoyne, and basically boils down to one thing. Hey, it's a crazy world out there. The VUCA world is constantly changing becoming more unstable each day. Events unfold in unexpected ways, and it's becoming impossible to determine cause and effect. It is more difficult to anticipate events or how they will unfold. What worked yesterday has become obsolete today. Our world has become smaller, but more complex. Problems are harder to understand, and their repercussions flash around the world at the click of a button. In today's world, things are not completely clear and precise. We discover that what we initially saw as good and pure sours and turns murky. Trusted people and ideas betray us. Things are no longer black and white. But grey is also an option, and in 50 shades, if you wish. <laughs> but yes, we live in a crazy world, 
and in, in an even crazier country. We have daunting challenges before us, like unemployment, crime, inequality, inefficiency, corruption, and I, go, I can go on and on and on and on. But we should not be paralyzed by fear. No, ladies and gentlemen, no, do not be afraid of fear. There was an American actor and movie producer, Ed Helm, and he said that fear sharpens you, it challenges you, it makes you stronger. And when you run away from fear, you also run away from the opportunity to be your best possible self. I believe we can challenge our fears by embracing our life journey, finding our souls and changing our hearts to be light bearers. The world of high performance sports, which is a great deal of my reality, is a stressful and challenging one. It is a world in which a split second determines your success, where a breath of air defines you. Sports people work with only one outcome in mind, the finishing post and the number one position. However, I've experienced that if outcomes are your only driving force, you are devastated if you do not succeed immediately then the journey to your destination becomes fearsome and frustrating. Do not lose track of your vision if at first you do not succeed. Furthermore, we live in a world of instant gratification. I think the lead singer of the band Queen, Freddie Mercury, captures this very well when he sings, if you want the truth, Here's to the future of, and dreams of the youth, because I want it all and I want it now. So, I want to ask you today, what exactly happens to you if you can't have it all and you can't have it now? Are you defeated and discouraged? Be honest with yourself. If you know in your heart of hearts that you've not tried your best, rethink your strategy. However, if you've done your level most, celebrate the small victories along the way. Growth and success take time. Embrace the volatility of the VUCA world. The key to success in a volatile world is the ability to adapt to change. You might have to readjust your vision, but excitement will be the fortunate spin-off of your journey. Don't let fear of the complex world paralyze you. The challenges will be many, but be brave. We are from Africa. We are strong. Ladies and gentlemen, today you stand on top of a great hill. When you look at your past journey, celebrate your victory and be grateful for today. You receive, one of the, you receive what millions around the world crave. Today, you are endowed with a tremendous superpower. You receive what Madiba has called the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world, your education. As you hold the weapon of education in your hands, be aware that this is a powerful tool that you can and should use to empower yourself and those in your circle of influence. You can and should change the acronym VUCA to the South African word VUCA, wake up. Now, you may ask, how can I, a mere weakling, wield a sword in this country ruled by complexity, uncertainty, and ambiguity? We have lost our moral compass to a certain extent. We've lost our souls. The burden is too heavy for me, you may think. Which reminds me of a folktale of the spirits of air, earth, sea, and fire who contrived to steal man's soul. After succeeding in stealing man's soul, they argue about where to hide it so that man will never find it again. 
The spirits disagree and argue about a suitable place and finally turn to the evil one for a solution. His answer astounds them. Hide man's soul in him because he will never look in himself to find it. The reason he will never find it within himself is because he first has to pull away his ego, his pride, his greed, his humanistic philosophy, and his minuscule wisdom. For underneath all of these things is the perfect place to hide his soul, because man will not want to pull away all his vices to find his soul. So, whenever man is confronted by those who seek his soul, he will not be willing to pull um, away all those negative layers that conceals it. The soul of this country is not lost. It, is simply li it simply lies bleeding under layers of greed and pride and ego. Who then will rip away the layers of ego, pride and greed to lay bare the soul of this nation? Who will who will take the responsibility? Who will or should reach out a healing hand? Should it be schools, universities, the judiciary or government? Or maybe even Cyril Ramaphosa alone? The answer is surprisingly simple. The power of healing lies in the hands of every man and woman of this assembly, in the mind of every citizen. In 2017, at the age of 90 years old, a trauma therapist, Edith Ego, published her memoirs titled, The Choice, Embrace the Possible. Ego, an Auschwitz survivor, gives an unforgettable account of her painful path to emotional healing alongside that of her um, patients. She writes, time doesn't heal. It's what you do with the time. Healing is possible when we choose to take responsibility, when we choose to take risks, and finally, when we choose to, re to release the wound, to let go of the past or the grief. I repeat, healing is possible when we choose to take responsibility, when we choose to take risks. Vuka Mzanzi, wake up, South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, I remind you once again, today, you have received the most powerful weapon which you can use to change this country. You are now the people who carry the torch of education and knowledge to your families and your communities. Let us use our time wisely to heal this nation, not by breaking down, but by building day by day, slowly and steadily. We must heal our souls to assure our future. When you stand in your classroom or your workplace, use your time wisely. Choose healing and choose responsibility. Above all, choose kindness. A small act of kindness has the potential to change someone's day and maybe even a life. We need to break the bonds of restrictive thinking. We have to shake off the shackles of the past. We must focus on our vision for the future. Joe Plummery, CEO of an insurance company, Willis Group Holdings, says, you can Google for an answer and you can Google for a mate. You can Google for a career, but you can't Google for, to find what's in your heart, the passion that lifts you skywards. And this, I believe, is, what, is not only what individuals need, but also what we as a nation need. A passion that lifts us skywards. A change of heart. The Olympic motto, if we 
um, interpreted into English means faster, higher, and stronger. It is a call to scale the, to scale the heights, broaden horizons, reset standards, beat the clock, and better the best. This is exactly what we, as a youth, should do to bring about a change of heart in our circle of influence. Don't be afraid. Be courageous and strong. Readjust your sails to the winds of change and uncertainty. Be creative and innovative in a complex world. Do not wait for others to show the way. Do the unexpected and lead with confidence. Wake up to your potential and wake up to life. Let your light shine and live and laugh without fear of the future. Because we are from Africa and we are strong. Thank you.